Just like we want to get rid of those bad, corrupt, piece of crap cops, we need to get rid of these bad, corrupt, piece of crap people who want to do this to families. Baltimore Police Spokesman T.J. Smith showed his frustration as the city is in the midst of its deadliest year in history. Smith's brother was one of the city's more than 330 homicides in 2017 to date, and he says it is the same group of people behind the city's violence. Take a listen. The likelihood that we've encountered them before is great. The likelihood that they're repeat offenders, whether it be juvenile or adult, is great because the overwhelming majority, vast majority of our kids and, and residents of the city aren't into criminal activity like this. It's that same revolving group of bad guys that are wreaking havoc for people's families. And it's actually pissing me off as I sit here and talk about it because it's unnecessary. I'm just tired of seeing it. I'm tired of, of getting up here and talking about somebody's record and saying how, oh, they could have, should have, would have, if we had just given them a hug. They shouldn't have the opportunity to hurt people's families like this. He went on to cite an example of one man being arrested 13 times. He also went on to call for reform, encouraging people to demand state lawmakers pass legislation that holds violent people more accountable. I don't know what the reforms look like. The community knows what those reforms look like. It's uh, much greater than just police reform. I mean, we can have the perfect police department, but as long as idiots are on the street with guns and they want to use them against 19-year-olds, um, we, we have a greater reform that needs to be done. Baltimore has had more homicides than New York City this year. The latter has nearly 14 times as many residents. Matt Yuris for WJZ.com.